And I think we're live. Hey. It's the Jeff, Jeff, and Dave show. There you go. Um, we were just talking. We think uh, Dave Cowdice is on vacation this week, camping, I believe. I haven't seen any posts from him um, in the past couple of days. No, wait. No, no, yeah. The last uh, YouTube video I saw, he said he was going away camping, so. I thought he posted a picture of uh, the the tower today. They're on, on vacation. They're yeah. They're they're on a date weekend. Um, but they're going to go camping afterwards. Uh, it's their anniversary, or they're celebrating. I think their anniversary or something, which is not right because they got married way in like the middle of the summer, I think. But anyway, they were having yeah. Him and his wife are uh, are gallivanting around Ontario, and then they're going to go camping afterwards. So um, in the chat we have Mr. Blue, and we have. Uh, well, Dave and me. Uh, Eric uh, Sith is here. Yep. And that looks like it so far. We've got a couple watching. So, well, of course, Dave's probably one of them. Yes, Dave, I'm, I'm watching. Every yep. <laughs> so, step you take. I'm, I'm, I'm so uh, I'm, I'm ego, ego, ego centric like that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, but, you're uh, really watching yourself and others. <laughs> so we need to have a talk. That's why he's on the stream. He's watching himself right now. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Why don't we just do this? Here you go. Hey. He's watch himself all he wants. That just doesn't <laughs> sound right, though. No. No. Nope. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm in a slightly different uh, location than I'd say than last week. But was last week was I not up here as well, or was that? No, no that was no, Friday. No. That was Jeff's Friday chat. Um, That's, uh, Jeff's Friday chat is called Tons of Fun, tons not of fun, Jeff's Friday yes. chat. All right. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm not Canadian <laughs> Jeff yet, you know, because of you, mister. Look, everyone <laughs> decided to start calling you Canadian Jeff because of me. Therefore, you are now Canadian Jeff. Yeah, I guess so. I have that moniker. Um, have, I'm trying to think. I would, just, I would like to point out that I did buy Mike Ritter a Hot Wheel Tesla a year ago, and now Mike Ritter owns a real Tesla. I met Mark. You want Lego Masters? I'm not mm. saying I'm magic, but I'm probably magic. So, how is Canadian Jeff going to help me in life, though? Uh, like, so, are all the other Jeffs in Canada not going to well, be? So, like, when you're in America and we're in Alabama, and there's like a lineup of like who could have killed somebody, and they're like, we think their name was Jeff. You know, they're all going to look at the lineup and they're going to be like, no, nah, I can't be that guy. He's Canadian Jeff. This is true. <laughs> it, would, it would be a, a instant. There you go. <laughs> so. Plus, also in Alabama, if they go, who drove here from the farthest? You can raise your hand and be like, yo, it's me, Canadian Jeff. And then you'll win something. Yeah, this is probably true. I, at the moment, <laughs> I think we're, I... Without I, any I contest. We're, without any, nobody's <laughs> going to argue with that. Well, unless someone's coming from Ottawa or Montreal. Well, I mean, those aren't real places anyway. So it's not or really the real. East. Well, I guess <laughs> anybody coming driving from the state, like from, from the West Coast, though... In in the states, we'll probably be driving farther than I will. Yeah, I think you know how far. No, every well, American Canada is the farthest country ever. So all that travel across Canada's barren wilderness, as opposed to your travel just south, doesn't count. The no, I'm saying does. if someone to come from Washington State, yeah, yeah, it doesn't count. They're, they're just doesn't crossing count. America. Yeah, it doesn't this count. That's. That's still in country as opposed to Canada, which is an exotic locale. This is true. Very and true. You're fighting off mooses and moose bears and, and, and to get and there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. By the way, St. CR, it's Dave. I could just say Dave because you're the only one here. It's yeah. not mooses, it's moose. Moose. You don't plural right. you don't we do they pluralize moose in French? Yes. We pluralize everything. Okay, that's that's cool. Cause like for mouse or well, mice, but we don't say we don't have a plural for moose in English. It's just moose. Well, we do. Orignal, orignal. Just, just just looking. He's starting to worry me now. <laughs> it looks like he's frozen. No, he's not frozen. He just blinked. No, he's not frozen. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, look, because, because there's a plural. There, uh, we call it. In, in French, uh, moose is actually an orignal, yeah. and okay. uh, in, in, if you get to, to get the plural, it's orignal. Yeah. So do you pluralize Lego then too? Well, it depends if you're great A4 or not, because you're not supposed <laughs> <Yes>. to. <laughs> if There's you're a good A4, there. you're not going to plural uh, Lego. You're gonna just going to say Lego bricks. 
Darn right. Or hey, Lego guys, anything. Yeah. All right, I have a question for mm-hmm. French Canada land. So when you're talking about chocolate mousse, would it be like, hey, hand me those pieces of chocolate mousse? Or like, could I have a couple of pieces of chocolate? How would you pluralize chocolate mousse? Is it a different spelling or is it still it's just... Well, mousse? yeah, it's a different spelling, but a, a, a mousse is, is actually... Uh, in French, you say a mousse. Syrup. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it yeah, would, it's it would be a... Uh, that mystery would, solved. Moving on to well, the next well, one, fellas. I think moose is actually a French word that we yeah, take yeah, it is. into yeah. English, right? Yeah. 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 But for some reason, the, the Canadians were like, oh, this is a good moose. And someone else saw a moose walking by and went, oh, is that what he's called? Okay. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, let's not try and figure that out ever again. Like the moose's hoof is missing and some guy's like, oh, it's a great moose. Well, at least we're not Australian. We don't call them a... Uh, uh, moose and bat or uh, wobbla <laughs> wobbla walking. I have no idea what you're talking about. Man, I'm so glad I don't work, live in a ba- ass backwards country. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your definition of ass backwards? Because I'm pretty sure it's different than ours. I, you know. <laughs> Anywho, so we're gonna talk about Lego, right? Like how we how we picked it up or put it down during the pandemic, right? That <laughs> yes, that is the idea. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to quickly talk about what we've been doing, or should we just talk about that first and then jump into news and stuff? What do you think? Let's, try, let's, change let's do the news first because that's news probably more interesting because everyone knows this answer from you two and definitely me. So. True. True that. All right. Well, why don't we jump into news? Then we'll talk about what we've been doing. I've been in hip waders. No, I haven't been in hip waders. I didn't have to pump water this today. <laughs> that's a victory all by itself. Yeah, even after using the bathroom. That was too much information, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the news. Jeff has been yeah. eating a less and less fiber these days. <laughs> um, no, I've just been going to the grocery store every morning to use nice. their bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. He's not camping. Oh, he's not camping. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we're level now. We're even. Also, my yes. sister's here in the chat. The J yeah. is the Jeffs and oh, hey, Luxana. We are going oh, camping tomorrow. Luxana, if I'm right. Luxana is That's what her Jeff name. wants me to say. Mm-hmm. That Her name is Luxana. Who wants to know what Luxana is trying? What? Who? Number one, <laughs> who? Major Barrett, who? Oh. Your shovel, Dave, who? Dave so joined Dave. us as we were mentioning Star Trek. Now we're in trouble. All right, so, all right, so Dave, my sister is uh, transitioning right now. And she has the perfect opportunity to change her name to Luxwana, and she's not doing it. <laughs> what? That's inconceivable. <laughs> right? Either that or Princess Leia or... No, 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 well, no. Then Luxwana. this is for Jeff's sister. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Uh, anyway. well, Luxwana got a bad rap. I actually liked the character. I I, I thought she was awesome. Um, I I did enjoy the episode she was in. She was I didn't in know that she, that five. that I didn't know that the actress was actually Jeans Roddenberry wife uh, partner wife. I didn't yeah. know that yeah. until yeah. like yesteryear. So they they met on the original show. So wait. Actually, I think I knew each other before the original show because she was the first number one. David's. Yeah. Are any of your sisters or siblings online? Because my sister's online, and Jeff's sister's watching. My sister will not watch support? this. Are you kidding? I don't have any sisters. I have two brothers. My sister gave up Lego when she turned like twelve. Yeah, yeah my sister. Uh, my oh, sister, my... who's booing me for some reason. I don't know what I did. Well, oh, she's booing my sister. That's who she's booing. My oh. sister isn't into Lego either. Okay. She's just here to be like, hey, I'm here and support me. But she likes Lego. She just doesn't build with it. Although, she, yeah, she did, she might be a, a Christmas present a few years back. That was a Lego set. That was awesome. She shipped it to me from BC. It was awesome. Thanks, sis. <laughs> Man, the only Christmas present Lexi's ever given me is regret. Hey. Regret. <laughs> regret. <laughs> oh, anyway. Well, I'm welcome, Ivan. Okay. Just trying to see if anybody else joined besides uh, the sisters. Um, so the you're sister going camping of... tomorrow, Dave? Is that it? Yes, we're, we're taking Josh out of school in the afternoon, and we'll be at uh, some provincial park somewhere in Ontario. 
Cool. So cool you're taking away from Sorry? So we're, good. we're good, Neko. I yeah. said, how cool is that, that you're the dad that takes your kid out of school to go on vacation? How many times kids were in school and wanted that just to randomly happen? But, like, you're making that happen. My my, my parents never did that for us. We, we, we had to finish the school day before we went on vacation. But he's, you're going to take him out of two days of school. Yeah, so he won't be there on Friday either. <laughs> so he, tomorrow at 1 and all Friday. So a day and a half of no school. Well, we're going to Point Pelee, so I'm sure there's going to be some sort of, you know, natural geography slash you know, biology, flood, whatever, checking out the migration of birds and crap. And it'll so probably right. be the warmest place in Ontario, at least tomorrow. Well, it's, it's the, the lowest place. The it's, the, it's the one that's closest to the equator, so it must be yeah. warm. It must be warm. <laughs> This is to the equator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, our little geography lesson for the world. Point yeah, Healy, lowest point in Canada. <laughs> yeah. It is. And it's in Lake Erie, so, you know, I don't know if that takes away from the effect of it. But anyway. Yeah, it's like you can throw a rock and hit Detroit. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's not that close to Detroit. Well, it's not that close, but, no. you know. <laughs> I was going to say, it's... It's like half an hour to Windsor, so. Anyway, is there somebody left in Detroit to, you know? <laughs> to throw rocks in Detroit? Yes. There's lots of people in Detroit. Motown. All very nice, all very nice people as I drive through there in about four months. Motown. <laughs> actually, I might not even be driving through Detroit. I might actually drive through Buffalo. Buffalo, was, yeah. Because Buffalo. Wants to go to Buffalo. Yeah. Well, and the reason for that, well, two reasons for that. Uh, I was talking to Maddie earlier this week because I'm going to be probably picking her up on the way. And she asked if I could pick her up in her hometown, which is closer to the Buffalo side of of Ohio than it is to the uh, to the Detroit side. And then I thought of the other bonus, that stretch of between London and Buffalo or London and Detroit on the 401, our highway, uh, is Snow Alley. And, really... and it's so, <laughs> so long. Well, it's it's very long, and they get snow squalls across that area off of the yeah, lake. Uh, you're gonna get the all the way up to like Milton, but yeah, the, the yeah. we'll world. get to the Lego, Jeff. We'll get to the Lego. We'll go eventually. <laughs> Who cares, Lego? No, I mean, aren't, you if you're driving from London, don't you have to cross the, the ocean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. London, Ontario. <laughs> we, yeah. we have a better London over here on this side of the pond than they have over. We there. also have a Stratford, and we have you know we've got all the English. We have Paris. We have Shakespeare. Yeah. And Kitchener used to be called Berlin, New Berlin. So that was there fantastic. Great, but so World War II is called New Berlin. So I thought great. it was Waterloo. What, what's in Waterloo? No, I guess it was Kitchener. That was Kitchener. Okay. And, and now they're talking about changing the name again. It seems like the city wants to keep on changing names. So I don't know what they're going to change it to now. New New Berlin. <laughs> See, that's why all our towns here in Quebec are called with Saint. Saint Saint Hyacinthe, Saint, Saint, Saint Julie, Saint Saint Bruno de, de Montarville. And all your streets too. <laughs> yeah. And Saint Jovie, my favorite city in Quebec, because it's right by Tremblant. Anyway, <laughs> um, so why don't we do some news? More geography. Like yeah. That. We'll talk yes. about our topic, and then we can just talk about what we've been working on, because you know, changing it up. Yeah. So, and there is a little bit of news at least this week. So let's jump over to that. Ta-da! Ta-da! Paper bags. Paper bags. Yes, paper bags. Let me just get rid of the banners for a second here for the branding. Better for recycling. Uh, build session. That should get rid of there. We'll just do that. It's a little easier to read. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, the Lego group originally announced a while ago, like a couple of months, well, probably last year already, that they were going to switch over to paper bags. Yep. Um, so it looks like that will be happening in 2022. Uh, new packaging around March 1st, 2022. Um, so they'll be switching over to paper bags as opposed to plastic bags, which is good, I think. Yay yeah, for the environment. It, it, yeah. it, it won't make a difference in how the bricks are, you know, end up in 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 the package or how. No. So well, good for that's that's good for the environment because actually those plastic bags, at least here in Quebec, they cannot mm. be recycled. You have to throw them oh. in the trash. Really? Yeah, I yep. think our, I, it's possible that our city says that as well. There's certain types of plastic that you can't do it. And I always recycle it, and I've never complained. So anyway. But um, but the only thing I can think of is how strong is our, are those paper bags going to be? Because if you have a sharp, like a brick, bricks have sharp points, right? Right. So is it possible that they might actually puncture the bag? 
Well, probably not. They'll probably make it strong enough for that. Yeah. Oh, my sister has made an important announcement twice because she's spamming us. Don't take her off the thing. Uh, important <laughs> Go buy a red donuts. donuts. This is Tim Hortons. Uh, this week is our um, tomorrow. There's a holiday. There's a government yeah. holiday in certain provinces. Yeah, a Canadian holiday except, for uh, except for Quebec. <laughs> Except for Quebec. Well, even Ontario isn't isn't recognizing it. But anyways, there's a holiday tomorrow um, to uh, for reconciliation for the uh, Native Canadian people. There's probably a better way of saying that. I just my brain's not thinking that way right that now. Work. Um, oh, Rick original is in the original. chat too. <laughs> Throw <and> try <laughs> rocks <laughs> while <laughs> try. <Wasn't> that <laughs> 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 Through that. So, <clears throat> um, I the. Paper bags will be reinforced with plastic. With plastic. So both Ricks are in the chat. They're just not joining us. Um, I don't. Will they actually be reinforced with plastic? Because at that point, they're not going to be recyclable. Yeah. Or so. probably they're going to be like they're, they're, they're going to feel like more like tissue or like cloth yeah. or rather than if you use a, a bigger fiber, it's probably going to hold on the bricks a lot better. Uh, additionally, the plastic wrapping around base plates. Oh, this is one of the other news articles. The base plate wrapping will be replaced with cardboard, cardboard sleeves. Too. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's why uh, there was a big news story a couple of weeks ago or a kind of a thing about all the base plates are being discontinued and people were freaking out. But it's because they're changing the packaging. And when they do that, they have to give it a new part number or a new set number. So, yeah. Oh, he's joking. And it's a federal holiday. Most of us will still be working. Yeah, and kids are still going to be in school. Um, my company is awesome because we got the day off. So I'm going to reconcile. Yeah, you're, 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 you're on the federal classes. chart. So I think that's the difference. Depends on if the company is on federal chart or uh, yeah. provincial chart. Yeah, I guess. Um, and my sister is asking, why not reuse a, a cloth reusable bag? These are for the the individual bags inside the set, so or inside the box for each like your yeah. set. Or your How are you going to reuse them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you bring them really back. Like... To... Please, like, go <laughs> fill them up again. Yeah, I mean, I would have loved it if they had just gone to like a Ziploc bag or something like a resealable bag because then you can fine. use that in your collection. But yeah, but that would be then someone's got to go and zip and zip them all up. I don't know. Anyway, all right, we'll kill that story. Next. We have uh, the video bandmates, um, which were supposed to rumored to have come out in October 1st. Um, they are being removed from everything everywhere. Um, so I'd seen this article, and then literally as I was going through all my news stories, I saw that they have officially been canceled. So someone else had an update saying that the video... Really? Because I, I, I've seen an update that saying that they're going to be released in Singapore. Oh, well, yeah, and that's, like, this one here says, um, except on the Singapore and Malaysia pages of the site, which are both served by certified stores. Um, so it's saying that it's still on their their website, but I noticed a week or two ago that they were already missing off the um, the website, um, the Shop and Home website. So I, I, as far as I know, they are considered, you know, discontinued, not coming out. Uh, hopefully they release them if they do do a next wave in a year or two, like if they figure out the issues they've been having, because yeah. uh, they were some pretty cool characters, and I've already collected Series 1. So now I have to collect the next series if it comes out. Anyway. Well, what, what were some of the issues that they were having with the line besides... It's the app. The app. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's... I think it was more, yeah, based around the app. Apparently the app only had two or three songs in it, from what I heard as well. The, the app the, the app wasn't functioning right it, yeah it, they got a lot of complaints fr uh, from users about the apps uh, either like uh, not enough songs not able to use uh, a lot of songs from outside the app um, yeah. it, it, it had technical issues or so the the um, they seems to have to to have reports that the app was actually like uh, warming up or using too much cpu oh, yeah, yeah. on on phone yeah. on phone so they would which, which i think that's common with most lego apps that they they use a lot of battery power um yeah at least i know like i think the um, the, the wild side no not the wild side the um the hidden side hidden side sets i think that that app was also a kind of a 
battery user. Um, <clears throat> Brick uh, Maniac from Manitoba is saying the schools are closed there tomorrow too. Yeah, I was expecting schools to be closed here too. And I was talking to my kids and my kids are like, oh yeah, we're going to school on Thursday. I'm like, really? I have off and you have to go to school? It's like, I gotta be yeah! in it. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. Anyway. Um, so yeah, videos, uh, figures are canceled. The, 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 the current sets are still out. Um, and, and, and that's odd because most of the sets from the second wave are already out, but not the bandmates. Yeah, yeah. So I guess probably that they didn't sell well. I don't know. They've been they're they're twenty percent off at the uh, season one series one is twenty percent off at Shop at Home, and it's been twenty percent off for a couple of weeks now at least, or yeah, at least two weeks. Um. So next so up, they, next up they... go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. So does that? So you guys have that Canadian toy retailer up there? It's Mad something. It's a toy. It's specifically oh, a toy Master store. Mind? Master Mind? Yeah, Master. Yeah, those guys. So does that mean that if they ordered a case of that earlier in the year, because you know they, does that mean that they're not getting it? Do they get re? Do they get reimbursed for that? Because you know that's a business chunk that's now gone. Yeah, I, as far as I know, um, like what when I read the article, it said that people like secondary stores that had ordered them had them just removed from their order. Um, I don't know if they actually pay for that stock until they actually receive it. In most cases, no. You, you, you usually retailers pay f f when they get the order in. Yeah, so that would just come fall off. Although now that you're saying that, I think tomorrow, Friday, I might run over to our Mastermind Toys and just see if they actually got them because. Why not? Yeah, it's worth a shot. I mean, yeah, exactly. Well, tomorrow's Thursday, but you know, <clears throat> sure, Friday, why not? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, but yeah. But yeah. Um, um, so tomorrow being October. No, not tomorrow. See, I'm doing that now. Wednesday, uh, Friday being October. First yeah. means that uh, we've got a new uh, Lego promotional event calendar. Um, so September had like almost no good deals at all, like for buy one gift for purchase type stuff. And they they ended up rehashing a lot of the older stuff. Um, like the sailboat had stayed out for a while. Um, so this uh, this calendar actually has a bunch of free gifts, a bunch of collectibles. Uh, no double VIP points listed though, which kind of sucks. Um, because I think October yeah, because they do they usually do a, a a double VIP promotion. Yeah, is that around? I think that's around Black Friday, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's closer to that. So maybe that's. I was just thinking it's around Thanksgiving, which for us is in a couple of weeks, and for the Americans, it's like in a month and a half. Yeah. So. <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, so uh, some of the promotions are uh, Lego Friends flower carts from October first to thirty first. Uh, spend forty dollars American, not Canadian, so probably fifty or sixty. Um, I, and that's on Lego Creator 3 and ones Dots, or Friends products. And I don't think that includes the Friends movie TV show thingy products. Just the, you know, the, the Pastel Friends products. Oh. Uh, <laughs> also, October 1st to the 24th, uh, free Ocean Diver with the purchase of $40. Either don't actually City show... Ninja Go or Super Mario? Yeah, City Ninja Go or Super Mario. I'm just trying to see if there's a picture of that one. Oh, yeah, it's this little guy here. Which, oh, that's the one that comes with the Stingray, which has been available in Walmarts for us for a while. Although I can't find them anymore. Yep. Um, um, you can never find them stateside either. Like oh, really? Was, um, yeah, I searched high and low specifically for that because I like their helmets. And just... Yep. Nope. <laughs> I have five of them, Jeff, so I'll... Uh... Uh, I'm good. I um, okay. I got the big-ass boat that came in yep. that line. Yep. And so, like, I'm I'm happy. I also bought a bunch of the parts from Parts and Pieces. Parts and pieces yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I bought some too. But I I knew I I like the sea the sea ray, so I, I bought a bunch of them. Um, so if you do want me to bring one to Alabama, let me know. So uh, okay, uh, we got that one. The ocean diver. So October 18th to 24th, a free rebuildable flying car which is pictured down here, which let me zoom in on that because, you know, let's zoom in. Uh, it's got a pretzel oh, on the grill. Anyways, uh, spend $120 American. So 100, 
40, 150 Canadian and get this free rebuildable flying car, which is actually bigger than I thought it was now that I've zoomed in. Yeah. Um, but it's not a small car, but it's not a small car, but it's also not, a, it, it's a flying car and it's ugly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's in weird cutters. <laughs> well, it's the rebuild the world, um, promotion yeah. too. So, you know, that's, I guess that's why it's like that one. Anyways, um, October 25th, November 7th, a free Harry Potter Hogwarts Gryffindor dorm room with a purchase of $100 in Lego Harry Potter. And running at the same time in store is a Harry Potter Hermione's study desk with purchase of $40. In store um, so, only. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to, if you want to go to a Lego store, go October 25th and spend $100 in Harry Potter Lego. And you can basically double dip on that one. Yeah. Um, the uh, picture of the donor is right here. I don't think there's anything that Harry Potter's done that I want to spend $100 on. How about that new How set of Meh. Meh. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, I don't know where the Hermione set. Oh, here's the Hermione little set here at the bottom. Yeah, but there, there are a lot of, there, there's a lot of Harry Potter fans out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the, true. Thing that, the thing that pisses me off just a bit is that they're coming out with the Tumblr, both Tumblrs this month, October 1st they hit, and then the Batman <laughs> Owl as well from 66, and there's yeah, no promos right. for Batman, there's nothing, and it's just... Well, that being said, though, the, the, the Batman Cowl was on pre-order, so if they did have something now, there would be a lot of people that would be pissed off, because the pre-order was would have been, like, wouldn't be effective now, right? You wouldn't get that. Same, same for the Tumblr. The, the, the minifig Tumblr was out. Oh, was it pre ordered? Pre-order? Yeah. Because okay, I, I pre ordered mine. I'm, I'm waiting oh. for mine to ship on, on Friday. So. Uh, we're echoing, I think, uh, Jeff's microphone when he has it on. It's uh, it's repeating or re- reverberating. He's got, he doesn't have his headphones on, which is perfectly fine. But that's why he's managing it. So we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, actually, the second answer to that, the correct answer, Yvonne, is that it's actually, we're not echoing, it's just in your own head. Hello, my sister. Anyway. Uh, this the is the brother's thing... answer. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, the last uh, thing in the calendar was October 30th and 31st, Halloween, um, which is the weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, if you go into the Lego store wearing a Halloween costume, you get a special treat while supplies last. Do you have to wear a mask? Well, yeah. Halloween. It depends. Well, it depends. Are you in Texas or are you in a civilized part of the world? <laughs> no, that's fair. I'm not in Texas, so yeah, that's absolutely right. <laughs> no, I know. I know they dropped the rules early, so I'm just picking up people from Texas. If you are from Texas and enjoying this, please like and subscribe. No. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Alberta and Saskatchewan. Look how much fun they're having right now. <laughs> uh, what was that, Dave? And uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan dropped the rules too quickly, and look how much fun yeah. they're having right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alberta's Texas and Canada, so I mean it's the same. And that is a very good analogy, although, yeah, I'm not. Gonna yeah, go there. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. It's just safer not to go there. Anyway, uh, next news item. There's actually, like I said, a lot. Okay, so we already talked about the uh, the base plates going to package paper packaging. Um, so I don't think we need to cover that one. Uh, micro game Lego Lego Ninja Go Unity micro game announced on September 29th, uh, and followed up with another uh, a Lego Ideas related um, thingy. I didn't read much about this, but if anybody's into micro games, um, Lego will be putting in a car- arcade cabinets and Lego brand stores, and it'll feature fan made Lego Ninja Go- Ninja Go games. So. If anybody likes arcade game style games and wants to go into a Lego store and not buy Lego but play video games, really? Anyway, why not? Because you know that's that that's a good idea. Hey kids, why don't you get addicted to this video game instead of addicted to our product? Anyway. And just hang out in our store and not buy anything. This is true. Yeah, or or be in line to play a video game. You know, it's like he's taking forever. Um. So a lot of people in the Lego community have not been using Flickr for a very long time to post Lego pictures. And now Flickr is teaming up with Lego to do a, 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 a contest, um, a photo contest, which is kind of interesting because, well, people haven't been using Flickr. I mean, there's still a lot of people that post 
leg on Flickr, but I mean, how often, how often, Dave, since you just pointed at yourself, how often are you going onto Flickr to look at people's builds? I look at Simon's because I get a, like a notification almost daily that Simon Lou's posting stuff on Flickr. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Because Simon is posting daily. So Simon's a prolific builder and uh, yeah, I go check out his stuff. Yeah. I go about twice a week to Flickr to check out new stuff, like, but yeah, yeah. I, I every same. six months I'll just do a photo dump of like everything that I've put on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I don't post to Flickr as often as I used to as well, and I'll do that once in a while. But for Flickr now, I'm pretty much just doing. I'm not doing a lot of my progress shots. I'm just doing the the actual, you know, final build, which I haven't posted any of because I haven't had any final builds finished yet, which will lead to our topic in a little bit. But anyway, um, so, but uh, the contest prizes were kind of interesting. First place, and it, there's two first place prizes. I'm not really sure. I'm not really getting this um, because it's it, it's one and two. But anyway, uh, first place is the uh, first prize is the Andy Warhol Marilyn Monroe Lego art sets pluralized, so four sets. So I'm assuming so you can build all four of the uh, the the Marilyn Monroe uh, pictures. Uh, second prize or second place is three of the Marvel Studio Iron Man sets for 350 bucks uh, US 360 US. And third place is the Star Wars series for the same price. Um, so I do agree, Marvel is definitely a second place versus third place. Star Wars. That's just my personal opinion, of course, but um, that's how I would rank them. Ooh. Well, come on. How, I, I, how, how long have we had Star Wars? Since 1998. And, and how long have we had Marvel? Since 10 years. And yeah. which movies are better? Okay. Neither. Okay. Neither. <laughs> anyway. um, so if, if anybody's interested or is still using Flickr, there is a photo contest. Uh, read up on it. This is from... Uh, from uh, the, the the brick fan. To, if you wrong. if you're you have a paid account or if you're under yeah. one thousand pictures, yeah, yeah, you can. You... Yeah, I, I still have a pro account, just because I don't want to lose my pictures. I don't have a pro account and I'm almost at the limit, so uh -oh. I'm not using Flickr anymore. Fair enough. Uh, next up, uh, so this was announced last week. Everybody has has heard this already, and I'm just throwing it in here because it was announced on the Thursday, and we did our chat on the Friday. Just that there's a Super Mario Brother film animation animated film coming out in 2022 with a pretty good star cast, um, done by uh, by Illumination. So hopefully it will be what Jeff. Here's the problem. He's got, he's got he can't talk about. Every movie that has Chris Pratt in it is the same movie. It's mm -hmm. Chris Pratt, but this time with dinosaurs. It's Chris Pratt, but this time he's on a spaceship. The character never changes. It's just Chris Pratt being Chris Pratt. There's like no acting involved here. And now he's playing an Italian plumber. The Texas native... Who probably uh, says Italian? He's Canadian, I thought. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt okay. is he not a Canadian? I don't know. He's not Canadian. Huh? Not everyone is Canadian, Jeff. Everyone should be Canadian, but that's okay. just my opinion. No, I I just remember. We're just nicer. I, I just remember hearing years ago that he was discovered in like he was working in Canada. I thought he was discovered, but maybe I'm maybe I'm out there. Anyway. I just assumed he was Canadian because he's funny. No, maybe not. According to <laughs> Josh. Anyways, are there any Canadians in this cast now? Now we have to... Uh, I don't recognize anybody there as Canadian. So, okay, next news story. <laughs> uh, two more. Um, so, uh, the Lego House is doing a Christmas dinner for Lego fans at the Lego House. Now, this again was posted last Thursday, so tickets were available, and I say were because I'm guessing that they're probably already sold out. Um, it's a five eighty dollars, eighty dollars US um, for lunch. And let's just see if there are any available still. We'll say no. This, this website, yeah, I've got a lot of this one. Oh, it's sold out. Okay, sold out. Enough, enough for that. Uh, sorry. 
Um, six days. Last up, yeah, pretty much. Uh, last up uh, was just the Lego fan. Um, the Lego has had uh, added some more fan creations to their gallery, to their um, exhibit. Um, and some of these pictures were really nice, so I just thought I'd quickly scroll through at some of the amazing structures that people have built. Uh, a card stacking robot. Oh, as in, that's cute. Yeah. Or not that's card cool. stacking. What, what uh, card house? Card house yeah. building. Yeah, card house builder. Um, a guy standing beside a cool window. No, there's the windmill itself. Uh, some nice architectural buildings. This one looks pretty cool. Someone's that, razor. Really just look at that then. Yeah, for sure. Um, a nice little town scene. It's not in that picture, but anyways, um, some smaller scenes. This dragon, which I ended up sending a picture of uh, to one of my chat groups, and then realized that I was actually in the Lego house, and I'm like, how come I've never seen this before? Because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, cool rover using minifig arms as wheels. And, oh, that's cool. Burnt out match <laughs> with a mouse nearby. Just, just nice. Um, and this cool spiral structure. Spiral. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody's fortunate enough to get to the Lego house and is able to travel to a foreign country and you know, and has the money to go travel to Denmark like we all want to. Dear Lego, please send us to Denmark. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm just checking chat quickly quick here. The thing about uh, Denmark is that their TV is weird. Their TV is weird? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I've never been to Denmark to see their TV. Well, Jeff, so it's normal programming throughout the day, and there's like three channels max. Okay. okay. At night, one of the channels shows all of the kid characters hosts going to sleep. So like there's like stock footage of them sleeping all the way throughout the night so that little <laughs> kids know it's time for bed. Cool, right? Okay, that's not weird at all. <laughs> the second channel is like your basic news. Like yep, yep. And the third channel is hardcore pornography. Woohoo! Okay, sign me up. <laughs> So you just and hope that the kids go to bed right. watching the right Dave channel. Dave would, would go for the news, right? Just for the news. That's what, I'm, that's what the woo was for, is the news. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know. To each his or her own. Exactly. <laughs> we're not uh, judging. <laughs> Rick, Rick was saying, uh, we were talking about Flickr a few minutes ago, that he posts most of his uh, more yeah. impressive mocks on Flickr, which is probably most of the stuff he builds. I mean, to be fair, Rick builds impressive mocks all the time, so that's not that's. Not really and there are Canadians and those that wish they were Canadian. This exactly. is true. I can't, yeah. But um, if everyone was Canadian, the world would be more sorry. More sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Eric Sith mentions that there was some leaked Titanic picture as well. He's really said the Titanic pictures were out today. So, yeah, that's still. Oh, yeah, I posted great. them on my uh, on Facebook your Instagram page. Yeah. Uh, and, and on Instagram. My first picture on Instagram. Was a leaked picture. Well, that was the first picture you've ever posted on Instagram. Yeah. You just got branded by Lego. They're like, no, for you. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, yeah, I it's really a very care. cool looking picture. Uh, by all means, if anybody wants to check it out, uh, go for it. I'm not going to throw it up here just because. Oh, yeah. the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, the Titanic. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It hasn't officially been announced, so we'll talk about it probably next week because I'm assuming it'll be announced next week officially. As long as we don't hit any icebergs, right? Hey, this is true. Um, <laughs> so the weird thing was when I was looking at that the pictures, someone had posted a little picture of a little iceberg with some penguins on it, and it was like gift with purchase. And I'm like, <laughs> is that? I'm guessing that's a joke, but that would um, be great. It would be hilarious, but at the same time, probably not very, um, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure that guy, much like the guy who made his staff pick for that uh, yeah. build a couple of weeks ago, is no longer employed. Yeah, well, I'm assuming that was probably just a fan-built creation. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, for those people who may or may not be going to Brick Fair, Alabama, 15 weeks away, because, you know. Open the border. Yes. Open the border, please. Uh, they just had the uh, last week they announced that it was closed for another week and for it for those that aren't 
up to date. Uh, Americans can travel into Canada via the roads, via the bridges, but Canadians cannot travel into the U.S. or Mexicans can't travel into the U.S. as of yet because America hasn't opened their borders to uh, automobile traffic. And I'm not going to even start talking about my political rant on that one. No, we, we won't. No. But we have them. So anyway, we're up to hey. 11 viewers right now, which is, I think, the highest we've ever had. So Woo! hi, everybody. Woo! Hi, everybody who isn't, uh, if anybody's uh, listening in is, and hasn't said hi in chat, pop in so we can say hi to you. Um, <clears throat> anyways, all right, let's let's uh, let's go to our topic for the night, um, which is uh, something that Dave actually mentioned in one of his YouTube videos. This, this yep. Dave right below us, or right between Dave and me. Uh, yeah, Dave, you mentioned uh, last I week. I came up with a good suggestion. Well, <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> well, you, you, you talked about it in, in, in one of your videos, in video oh, okay. review. Yeah. And I, I thought it was a good topic to discuss mm -hmm. because so, we're absolutely right about a lot of stuff. So. Yeah. So Dave's Dave's I won't say rants, but Dave's Just conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think it was while you were building that one, maybe. Or no, no, it was the scorpion, uh, the, the the scorpion detector. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Um. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, you had, you, you had a ten-minute video where you, you five minutes you talked about <laughs> well, this, video. and five the other five, five hours minutes. Of you were... Yammering, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, but basically, what Dave was saying, and I'm going to paraphrase it, and yeah, and days... shorten the five hours down to one line. Perfect. <laughs> Here's a well, I'm going to try to, but it's basically that. Um, Dave was saying that they were so stressed out about the pandemic that creativity kind of went out the door and he really didn't have the the willingness to do to build stuff like that weren't sets or that type of stuff or weren't you know I like historical paint by numbers sets. right now that's all I'm saying <laughs> yeah paint by numbers versus you know versus Actually, building um, painting your own van gogh because you're dutch um <laughs> Um, so, and it, it brought up a question about, uh, how has the appendix, how's the appendix, <laughs> the appendix, <laughs> I gotta go, no, uh, how's how the like pandemic that. affected our Lego building? Um, I mean, like for most of us, probably it's, it's improved it in that we've been home. So what else are you going to do? Jeff says no. Um, so let's do a quick round table and we'll, uh, we'll throw this off. Oh, by the way, I grabbed this image off of, um, I was trying to find an image for someone that like for burnt out Lego building or like uncreative or frustrating with Lego. And I came across this picture, uh, which I wish I had known about back in, let me just close this. I wish I had known about back in July or June 30th of 2015, because this was a Lego ideas uh, creation for the, uh, the, um, the movie thingy. What's the movie? Uh, Inside Out. Um, he was my favorite and, character in the movie. Either. Yeah, and I thought I thought, wow, that's a pretty cool thing. So I gave the dude credit. Speaking of being frustrated and angry, yeah, I could have used Unikitty. Yeah, that's true. but I saw this guy. Unikitty. And I it was cool. So angry kitty. Okay, right, so why don't we just jump into uh, our round table here? And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so Dave, why don't you give us cow dice since you already talked about it once? Why don't you give us your background? Like why? What? What? How does the append? How is the appendix? So, yeah, that was gonna keep on going. Pandemic. <laughs> Pandemic. 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 Okay. I can see COVID too. My sister's probably driving right now and swerved off the road because she was laughing so much. But anyway, <laughs> um, how has COVID affected your Lego? Well, I would say that um, the week before we went into lockdown was the last Lego show I did. <laughs> and I think you were there. No, I did wasn't. you come to that one, Jeff? Nope. The Family Fun Fest? Nope. Um, I didn't Callum was there and other people were there. So and I was looking forward to a solid year of doing Lego shows. <laughs> I mm -hmm. really was. And Sandy and I were actually talking about going to Brick Fair because uh, I've regaled her over the years about our wonderful trip to Brick Fest that one time yeah. in 2004. And uh, and Josh, you know, seeing the White House and all that crap would have been great. Um, and so the place got locked down and I thought it was going to be just a couple weeks and it turned out to be 18 months. <laughs> in counting. Um, and counting, yeah. At the beginning, I was okay because I was just sorting Lego. I was sorting stuff, and I actually had a, a clear floor, which went away now. But um, and I was having fun doing that because I just put the layout on hold. But and then I thought, well, I'm going to start working on the layout, and I said, I just don't have the energy mm -hmm. to think through what I want to do with it. And uh, 
So uh, in order to get by, I started yammering on YouTube videos and building from, and I don't even know where that started from. I could have been David and I talking about how great classic spaces. And, and then I got the thought in my head, the only great thought that I've had in 18 months was, hey, I wonder if I could build all of them. <laughs> so, with the of course you can, me. but yeah. Well, I, I, I'm i missing like a dozen pieces so far out of the 104 sets that I built. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, <clears throat> And the worst part is you, you probably have them somewhere in your un well. There's that. I, 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 keep on, I know I have pieces in here again, that's unsorted, and uh, you know. So, but overall, I never. I'm not going to go off and tangent. This is Jeff show. Um, <laughs> Dave, Dave's trying to get me to go off on tangents. Um, <laughs> so it's like I, I have all these these nebulous ideas in my head as to what I want to do, and usually. What happens is that I have all these nebulous ideas in my head and I coalesce into a specific focus, what I'm going to do. Uh, like when I was cutting up those two by eight electrical plates for the wiring for the layout, yeah. I thought, this is great. And I gung ho and I made a whole bunch of like floodlights and all that stuff. And they're not on the layout yet because I just me, <laughs> I just don't care. Um, so it's like, I want to get back into it. And I think the other thing is, with that it's not just a mental thing uh is the fact that deadlines is when i actually do the quickest mm -hmm. and best work i do yep. uh like ship tender and all that stuff oh there's a deadline oh i have to build it and i have to get it done so what i did a whole rewiring of the layout before i did the last the, the, the shows in mississauga mm -hmm. so but now there's no date when this is going to end and i'm sure the day hey we're finding out tomorrow that the whole world's cured when we have shows again next week and i'm going ah! <laughs> like, i have to like build everything <laughs> but i'm going to procrastinate until then and just kind of <laughs> Uh, do more mental exercises and do my YouTube streams because uh, my YouTube videos where I go off on tangents for an hour and a half because th that just eases my mind. I'm playing with my favorite hobby, but I'm not doing anything. It is what we call the paint by numbers. I am following the directions on Piron. I'm mm -hmm. getting the parts from Piron. Um, and then I, it's just paint by numbers. And is so, he still using Piron? Just like uh, that's all I will ever use, sorry. Uh, Piron and well, it's all the sets that you're building are on Piron. I'm just saying, it's, 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 it's going right back to where uh, the sets are. I mean, uh, the other ones I've been to, uh, basically, they just ripped off Piron scans. <laughs> so why would they go to Piron? So, oh, because you're using Piron. No, you said you're using it for the inventory, though, too, right? The inventory and the, and the uh, Piscal for the uh, the instructions. Okay. Piron Piscal. So what am I on right now? Oh, this over here. Uh, because I am getting... Uh, the parts for the 6940 series that I'm going to be doing soon. Uh, and I am on Piron for the part inventory. And I am on, so as this thing gets up and smartens up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, yeah, the bu it, building instructions and the said inventory from Piron. Okay. I'm actually so. just looking on Piron sorting by year to see what the, if it's actually still up to date. Well, uh, again, for, yeah, as you say, from my what I'm building here, they're going to be on Piron. I don't know when they stopped uploading instructions, um, but it's far after Classic Space ended. 2015 doing... is the last. Well, there's a bunch in 2012, and then there's one rec. There's one set in 2015, and that's it. So they haven't been maintaining the Piron guide. Oh, for, I mean, you know, just like lug net. I mean, the last uh, somebody mm -hmm. posted a lug net was for dinner 18 months ago. I don't know who that was, but somebody <laughs> I was so. there waiting. So Chalet was closed, but I was there waiting. No. Um, okay. So, but you were also saying that it's also just the stress of the pandemic and the worry of it as well that was causing. Well, it, it, there's too. there's always a concern. Like uh, I'm sure most families have got a scare already. Uh, we had a scare a couple of weeks ago, um, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I've had scares before, and I had to go get tested and blah blah blah. And work has its policy now that most companies have their policies about what's going to happen when you. Uh, come in contact or you feel ill. Um, the good part is for me and most people on this feed is that we're IT people. We get to work from home anyway. <laughs> um, so it, it's not, a, it's the, the paycheck's not an issue for me. Um, yeah. uh, home, like the, we, we, we got to be home uh, for the first couple weeks. 
Um, mm -hmm. We were the first ones called back to the office because we're IT and they said, you have to set the example, uh, even though I was doing better work from home than at the office. Uh, so we've been back in the office for 16 months now <laughs> with yeah. nobody else. And then, and then, but you get used to that and all some people start showing up. But then the second year at cough is like, oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. Run, hide. Yeah. So it's exactly. like, so, and I'm usually a pretty laissez faire kind of guy. I usually, I usually don't care about this kind of stuff. I'm usually, ah, yeah, whatever. But this one, that, this one affected me. And um, mm -hmm. so it's like, and so since your, your mind's so worried not uh, getting anxiety over that stuff, you really can't focus on being creative. And I can't remember where I saw that that saying from that if you're, you're in survival mode, you don't have the mental resources to be creative. Yeah. And so, um, but I also, on the flip side of my entire life is you fake it till you make it. So you fake that you have creativity and basically my faking it is painting my numbers right now. <laughs> so so I, I, I had to do something. I, I, I've i been yeah. playing with these bricks since I was four years old. I've never had a dark ages. I've never had more than a month go by where I did, wasn't building something or playing with Lego in my entire 50 years, 54 years on this planet. So I, I, I was getting withdrawal symptoms by not being in the Lego room. So I started making those videos and started joining Jeff's chats and um, and that gets me my fix for my hobby. And so I would be in a worse state right now. I, I can almost guarantee this. I'd be in a worse state right now if I didn't have this hobby and you guys. Yeah. And the paint this is true. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. From one. Sorry. Go ahead. It was, was the last time. I mean, you and I saw each other like last a month ago. Oh, no, we, it was uh, July. Oh, mid July, July right. was it? Or no, mid August. Get, got, my, got my beautiful hat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. So, go ahead. How about Mr. Sensier? When was the, or how is the hobby, or how has COVID affected your hobby? Well, um, like I, I posted on Dave's video, I, I, I made a comment that uh, for me, first of all, there's no doubt that the pandemic has brought us all to a like a survival mode and mm -hmm. that's been proven and it, and it and it's an unusual long survival mode because nor normally uh, normally if you're if you're in survival mode you're in, in that mode for a short period of time because yeah. once you get secured and but the pandemic has brought us to be to adapt to different situations and you're constantly adapting you're like okay we now we have to wear masks now we have to disinfect our, our disinfect everything when we go to the store okay now you you cannot even go to the store we're going to just shut down everything uh, now you can't see anybody you have to remain home work from home if you can uh, okay, now you can go back to the office, but there's like a bunch of rules that you have to follow and you're not going to see everybody. Uh, no, no, you're going back to where you work from home because it's not. So we're constantly we adapting and we're constantly in survival mode right now. <clears throat> you forgot we have to go pump out our basement to get the water out. <laughs> that happened to everybody, right? That wasn't just me. Yeah, was <laughs> well, you, you you you're you're mentioning that, but it makes me think of like all all the shopping that we do. We mm -hmm. normally go to stores, and now we we had to like order stuff from line. I during the the first wave, I had to change my dishwasher, and I had to oh. like shop for my dishwasher online and just look at reviews and order mm -hmm. it from a yeah. website because and i yeah. couldn't go to the, any stores to check them out and see if they just had to like go is it gonna fit well i don't know but according to the website it will so yeah so yeah saying all saying all that that it's we're all in like survival mode and prolonged survival mode. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are getting like tired and uh, at the end of our rope. So it makes to me what Dave said about being creative and while well, not being able to be creative, 
it makes just a whole lot of sense because you don't have the energy. You're you're constantly adapting and keeping all your energy to you know not break down and not you know. So what Dave said in his stream, it it talked to me and said, yeah, it, it's normal that I. I have all these ideas about building stuff and building things, but I don't have the energy. And working from home, yeah, I have lots more time, but I have to give a lot more time to work because I'm not as productive as I would be in the office. And I don't have the, all the equipment or there's like bugs or or. or you get disconnected from work and you, there's all these problems that you didn't have to face before or you wouldn't have to face if you were working from the office so now I'm, I don't when I get out of work I'm not I don't have any energy and the the little energy I have left I give to my kids because they're like in the same situation that I am. They're not able oh, yeah. to see their their and their their kids family. and they have a tougher time with it because like yeah they're... they they're they're not good they're not seeing their friends. The the, the uh, each each one of my kid had their birthday like a family only a birthday when they used to have like we parties if they, yeah. yeah big parties because as I mentioned my wife is from Chile and mm -hmm. family is a big thing with with her family so every time there's a birthday a kid's birthday we get like 35 people in the house yeah celebrating their birthday and now we're just all five of us like with a little cake that i made and so <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm giving all the energy that i have left for my kids to make sure they're okay make sure they're yeah, and you know my i, I have a five-year-old so he, he's He's not mm -hmm. like a teenager. He he, he asks yeah. or dad, can we play this? Dad, we can, can can we play that? So he's not as independent as my oldest son or my 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 middle child. So yeah, they're, uh, you're totally right, Rick. You <laughs> yeah. give time to your kids. So I like the point and, there. And David and, and that the second part that I wanted to do to the second point that I wanted to make is that Dave was also right that you have considering all the, the, the those facts, you have to do stuff that makes you feel good. You mm -hmm. have to do stuff that keeps you happy and yep. gets your mind off that survival mode. Charges so, your batteries. Yeah, recharges your and for me, doing the streams with you guys is like a beacon of light lately. For the the last, for the last, uh, the few, last uh, past weeks, doing this show has been a beacon of light because yeah, I'm not building and I, I ordered a lot, a whole bunch of bricks and I'm not building and I've like mm -hmm. I got a, I got a order from. Lego bricks and pieces, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't build anything with it. <laughs> and I got a, a I got a big thick brick cup because I went to a Lego store for like the first time. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> for the and thank you at the same time. So uh, yeah, I, I got a pick a brick. I got a whole bunch of white bricks. Ooh. Wait, I got. I gotta go point, back to the point that David made. That uh, wait, you made your son like, his cake. You baked the cake. Yeah, that's why he's not building. <laughs> Look at that nice yellowed Lego. Ooh, anyway, I, I like the um, fact that David bakes cakes. I, I bake bread, but I can't <laughs> make a cake. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I, I have no merits because it was like a Duncan Hines. No, that's <laughs> scratch. Babe, I thought it was scratch. Come on. That's scratch. What are you talking about, Dave? That's scratch. Let me on for a while. Yeah, I built it from scratch. They got the dough out and they got the. No, no, no. Hard. That's scratch. You add an egg. That's scratch, man. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Doing 
you have to do stuff that makes you feel good. And I totally and, get and where Dave, tap, Dave is going from that. You don't tackle everything. It's, oh, this little thing here, no matter how small, no matter how innocuous, no matter how anybody else thinks it's like completely irrelevant. If it makes you happy, like grab a yeah. book, sit in the lawn chair, watch the sunset, whatever it is, <laughs> just have a little peace. <laughs> it's like yeah. a little peace so, of mind. It's interesting because I think the Jeffs have a different uh, a different answer to this, which is actually kind of surprising to me because I'm realizing, hey, we both are probably in a similar mode because, well, we'll jump over to Jeff and we'll do some little switch around here. Jeff, how have you been doing during COVID? Um, so the first like two months here in the States, it was um, difficult. <laughs> you won't say why. Um, mostly because... Uh, so I'm ignorant. I don't know how Canada does, but like as Americans, as me and my family and what we did every weekend was we're going to the movies, right? So we go that God damn it. That got taken away. And so we're like, okay, that's fine. And as it progressed, we, Emily and I delved deeper into our hobbies. See you, Axel. Night, Axel. And um, that. Oh wait, no, he's oh, saying hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, that's right. He he says good night when he says hi. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Hi, Axel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like what? You know, my sister says it was that. So like, we delved deeper into our hobbies, and mm -hmm. um, I got into building a lot more, and I decided that that was the time to connect with the Lego community more. And uh, I couldn't be like, could be happier for it. And I just started building more and I started looking back to like the old creative things that I would, I would look to, to inspire me. And I started reading more, I uh, started watching and like really taking notes on cinematic storylines and writing and, and things like that i improved my writing enough so that i'm you know doing what i'm doing now yeah and it was a good palate cleanser for me but there's also the other side what you two were talking about which was holy shit this is really happening like i, I you know so like part of me when i was you know doing all the different shows and doing all the different things I was like, okay, I can block all that out while I'm doing this. But then when I, you know, returned to it, the only way to get over that was to was with Emily, for first and foremost. And secondly, it was to think about other ways to survive in, you know, post pandemic America and in the world. And yeah. That was, you know, that's how I got into to reselling toys and Lego and everything else. And my creative juices really started pumping because Look, I could, you know, we all have the anxiety brain, right? We all do. And, oh, hey, remember that time in fourth grade when you pissed your pants? Yeah, you should think about that now. Oh, okay. But, like, instead of when those thoughts would start happening, I would think, you know, I bet I could build the spinner from Blade Runner. So it would be watch up to a certain point on Blade Runner, look at the spinner, make an attempt. I still do that once a week. I still haven't made the spinner to the way that I want it. But like mm -hmm. I found different ways to challenge myself creatively, create creatively as well as intellectually to a degree on how to become a better version of myself or the version that I aspire to be. So it was touch and go. It was a lot of God, I hate this, but then, you know, Monday night or Thursday night or Friday night or Wednesday night would roll around and I'd be with my, you know, my Lego buddies. And it wasn't like there was there was like a sense of longing of like man I just want to hang out with these guys in like the club basement you know you know sometime and just like you know drink some beers and build some stuff and learn from each other and uh, that turned into why do you need that when you can just talk to them online like Van Dun Van Winden down there has helped me out a couple of times with just everything uh, Chris Giddens. That way, that way. All those guys, you know, that, you know, and I value that. That's what I'm taking away from this. Lots of stupid things happened. Lots of stupid things really happened in January. <laughs> and, um, but like the friendships that I've made is 
has helped be, me be more creative because I didn't focus on the bad so much. I stopped being in survival mode and I started being in the adapted mode, Yeah, which is, yeah. okay, if you're going to go outside, if you're going to be around people, these are the things that you need to do. Just do them. It's not survival. It's adapting. And so now in Oklahoma, it's like, yeah, you don't need your mask. But people are, ICUs are still full. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. They're everywhere. So, I just, I just look towards being with my friends. My sister and I got a lot closer. Mm -hmm. uh, my D and D crew and I got a lot closer. You know, and once again, all that adds up to creative flexing of the muscle, which I was in desperate need of. So, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. So uh, my sister just popped in here saying that she was laid off for the five or six months, ran out of hobbies. Wish she had found this channel earlier just for socializing. Have a Lego would have filled some time. So, I mean, we didn't really have these channels until last summer. Yeah, I would say. I think that's when Chris yeah, did. Yeah, started his first, but uh, yeah. and and then it was a great idea. So And that being said, I mean, I know I know um, uh, Pink Bucket Nation, Julian has been doing his stuff probably longer than Chris has. Right. But I didn't know Julian, so I only discovered his after I started watching Chris's, right? So, and I, Jeff, Tons of Fun has started more recently, right? Tons of Fun is uh, coming up on either third or fourth month. Third or fourth month, okay. And, but yeah, before I mean, that, I was doing, hell, I was on Beyond the Brick every Tuesday for like six months. And you know what? You know what? I never knew that because I never watched Beyond the Brick stuff. No. Nah. no. Only through YouTube videos. Yeah. The quarantine cast was a thing, and mm -hmm. I was there for a lot of it. Holy yeah. crap. But, you know, that was just another opportunity to meet people, and, you know, I have. And what's weird is going to a convention and seeing those the dudes in red, you know, the, the Hamlin brothers, because yeah. I, I don't know, and um, talking to them about the hobby and everything else. And then just being like, why am I talking to them about this? Like, I, I just want to hang out and like go drink a beer. Like, what's going on? Here? So, like, that was very surreal for me. And you know, I I was so surprised to see them that I was like, I don't know if I should shake hands. Are we shaking hands or are we hugging? And like, hand, and they were both like, we're huggers, Jeff. I was like, all right. So you know. <laughs> yeah. And then they handed me their door prices and were like, okay, see you later. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And, <laughs> Well, that was nice. Pissed off a lot of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right. So we talked to all you guys. Um, I mean, part of also, I'm just thinking as well that we've had in the community, like we've had so many different Lego sets. All like when the when COVID first started, everybody bought Lego sets. Yeah. Not just us. Well, okay, maybe not countless, but not just us, but the world. Like I bought second hand. I mean, I, 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 I didn't buy a lot today. It was two hundred dollars for a big tote that had classic space and castle, and I said, "I'll let it go by." Oh, by the way, this is my uh, brick maniac. This is my Loki hat for Lego. Where my Loki hat? Did Dave just say he turned down a classic space? I did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Dave gets kicked for the no, I'm just joking. Um, but so I mean, like when COVID first started for me, I was ooh orange classic space guy. Uh, I was like before COVID started, I was out of the house like half my time, you know, hanging out with friends and stuff. Um, and when COVID started, I was when yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Jeff. Go ahead. When COVID started, <laughs> apparently I'm dropping everybody out tonight. Anyway, uh, baby Yoda. Um, so when yeah, when COVID started, stop distracting me, guys. Jeez, no. Uh, when uh, when COVID started, um, I I don't know how I was coping. I mean, I was like at home alone. Like when my kids were here half the time. When my kids weren't here, I was out of the house, and. Um, yeah. See, now my sister's don't... distracting me. Does Dave have a fever? Are you feeling okay? You. He's growing it. horns, but beside that, anyway. Um, so yeah, when COVID oh, started, yeah. I, I don't know how I was dealing with it. I definitely started buying more Lego sets. Um, 
I would don't think I was really building stuff, but I ended up starting to build my own stuff because I was finally home, had nothing to do. Um, so I, I started building more and I, I did a little, um, I did a, one of my videos, I actually threw it on like a year ago or like not, maybe not a year ago, but maybe six months ago, I did a, what I've done in COVID for the first, well, at that point it was probably the first half of COVID. Um, and I did a lot of building. Um, but at the same time, I didn't have a lot of inspiration on a lot of things like my old castle. It was just sitting there and it, I couldn't go on with that because I just didn't have that inspiration and stuff. Um, and then in, when Christmas time came around and we were still in lockdown, it's like, okay, well, I started sorting Lego. So I spent a month doing that to try and, you know, to try and cope with things, I guess. And, um, but I have found that I have been more creative now because I am, I am building regularly. Like, and there's days where I don't want to build, but I force myself to go and build. And it's awesome. Um, and when, what, the fact that you're forcing myself to go build? No, or? That, what you're building is awesome. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Yes. It's just yes, it is. It's, Come on, awesome. it's, it's just it's just watermelon structures. Shush. The watermelon castle. The watermelon See? castle. Um, it's going to stick. But, <laughs> yeah. I have 15 weeks to convince you. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. And I, I mean, this is now, I'm building this because I have a deadline. It's 15 weeks away, but I have a deadline. What happens in 15 weeks, Jeff? Brick Fair, Alabama, Dave? Um... If the no. borders and open, if the border, yeah, okay, stop. It might not be. If, I might still fly down. If if I won't take this obviously with me, but I might still fly down if the borders are closed. I don't know. Like, to be like, fair, I'm pretty sure America is at the point where like, okay, you don't have vaccines, we're just gonna put you in camps. Screw it, because like, I mean, nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to get you know fixed. Nobody wants to to go through it. And it's like, this is why we can't have nice things. Literally, but, have, but I, ha I am vaccinated, so let me come in, please. <laughs> Hello, can I come in? That's that's the worst part because, like, I, I think the, the last number I've seen is like 85% of Canadians have either one shot or even two uh, over two the shots. age of 12. Yeah, yeah, 75% of all Canadians, and I think 85% of over age 12, just because they haven't allowed it for younger than 12 yet, but yeah. But yeah, it's it's crazy. But anyway, so I have a deadline to build, and I almost I almost sent Dave a message this week saying, "Hey, Dave, I remember hearing a video or in videos that saying you had a lot of bulk brick," and I almost contacted you, Dave, this week um, because I ran black, out of white, red, blue. I ran out of two by four red brick. I got and I hurtful. no no no, no just let me finish. I had two by four. I got a bunch of two by two, but I ran out of two by four red, and I have blue and yellow and 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 the other colors. It's just I started in red, so I want to go as far as That's I can. That's what we in red. do. That's what um, we do. But I ended up over the past week. The the reason why this past couple of weeks or this this section has taken me so long is I ended up tearing that apart at least two modules of it because I realized I was building that these walls were all uh, two by four brick, and then inside I have the lattice structure, so two by two columns, and then. Yeah. Four bricks what coming. We did in. for Altenburg, yeah. Yeah, what well, we've done for our for our older things, and if anybody doesn't know what that is, I can I can give you a quick example. Quick demonstration, Jeff. Quick demo. This is this is a this is a training video. Go ahead. <laughs> Except for this brick is not very solid. Hold on, we'll we'll get the other bricks. There we go. So like a five stack of five or six one by twos, and then on top of each other, and spaced about two studs apart, lengthwise, and then you basically do this kind of structure on top of it. And then each of these hooks up to one stud of the next two by two. So it's it's a very cheap, lightweight way. And you tree them up and you can build as long as yep. tall as you want. And you can do all the landscaping and, on the outside. It's a gorgeous way of doing it. And usually I do that every five levels because I find five is a good, it's a good, good number. Uh, good number. It's also easy to figure out how tall you are. Um, but anyway, um, and I realized that I was using two by four bricks on the outside and I ran out of two by fours. And then I'm like, but I have two bins full of two by three bricks. So I ripped all the walls out of the sides and replaced it all with two by three brick. There so now are. I'm actually using two by two, three, and four. So I'm using all of them. Nice. Um, so it's it's making it go farther. But I at some point, once I'm run out of red, I'll switch over to yellow and blue and stuff. But at some point, I because this is only one, two, three, four. I need to do another twelve <laughs> of these, and it's slowly going up. And I'm already at this height after four, and this is like. Um, Probably about 10 bricks now, almost. 
I'm going to mention that the second I did a space layout, the very first space layout I did at one of our shows, the very first one was like five foot by seven feet, cute little thing. Jeff showed up with a monorail train that was gorgeous, but big, huge. And, and then and then as we progressed with the layout at shows, there was the ad hoc layouts that we were doing back in the day because of Jeff. <laughs> It got bigger. <laughs> yeah, believe me. <laughs> okay, with me too. But it got bigger and bigger. And our last layout that we did together was 12 and a half feet by 12 and a half feet. It had like eight monorail loops in it. It had like 17 Galaxy Explorers in it, whatever. But it was absolutely massive. I loved it. And, it. and Jeff and I took, how long did it take to plan that one? That was like a couple months just to plan it. Yeah, it was it was crazy. It was, it was awesome. mostly you planning it, and I was like, "Yeah, I can put something there and there," but you were doing you all, came the, up with all those wonderful out. ways of supporting the monorail track, dude. That was all you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, large layout. This is going to be like uh, sixteen. It's going to dwarf our space layout. This is three yeah. six foot tables across, like so six feet by. I'm trying to do the math. Six feet by eight and a half feet. Um, give or take a few. I think that's right. It's two and a half, two and a half, five. Oh, six feet by seven and a half. Sorry, I was off it's by. It's going to be gorgeous. By foot. But anyways, yeah, assuming I can finish it. So yeah, I have a deadline. So that's why I'm building as much as I can, as quickly as I can. Uh, I've also torn this apart seven times in the past three days. That That's the that's the fun part about doing big layouts, that you come up with yeah. a different idea or how to fix it, or you made a mistake um, once that over and you had to take out the entire wall. Yeah, yeah I, well, yeah, that was this wall. Um, but the other thing is because I'm going, I'm now like this section was a 45 degree slope where everything is running at 45 degrees and I'm going up a plate every four, like every four studs, I'm going up a plate in height. Right. So if I grab this wall and it's all modular, if I grab this wall, here's the bottom, it's, yeah. you know, like three, four bricks higher up here. Right. It is actually, well, you can see the slope on it. I'm holding it level yep. and you can see the slope. Um, and I mean, it takes me half a day to build one of the towers right now. Um, and that's just because it's a lot of work to, a lot of internal mechanisms and stuff to build the tower. So, um, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I almost lost, you can see this off screen. I almost lost this bin of loose parts. Let's not do it. Let's not pull a Derek. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean, I do have a deadline. It's it's a 15-week deadline, and I hope to finish this. Uh, but I'm also going to have to order a lot of parts in the future. I know it's coming. So, If you need a bin of brick, just let me know. I got three. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, probably, I might at some point. But I have enough currently to go. But it's more just the... And he has a package coming his way. I do. Thank you, Mr. Sincere, who bought me three pick-a-brick cups of this one little itty-bitty piece, which I'm trying to see if I have one handy. I do. Apparently, they still have some in the Lego store. If you three pick up cups you just, of this guy, you just let me nice. Know. So, yeah, I, I I think that should be enough. I originally I calculated that I needed four and a half, I think, um, and I've expanded it now. But I've also started using the panels as well in the in in the side walls, like at that, at that connection point. So I think I will be okay. I'll probably have to order some more bits and pieces, but um, I think I'm good for that part at least. Uh, now it'll probably be one by two gray bricks and dark stone bricks, but that's a totally different story. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, we totally, I went on a tangent. No. No. Because I don't know if we're still talking about COVID. You pulled off a Dave. I, I, pulled a Dave. I pulled a Dave. Yeah. I pulled a Dave. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I have found myself to be a little bit more creative. I, I have more time. I don't have anybody here half the time. Like, as you see, there's no kids. Well, you can't see their rooms right now because that's where they probably would be. But I have no kids in the house like half the time. Um, so I definitely am having, I'm, I have time to kill and I don't want to watch TV. Um, I mean, when I build, my TV is kind of up here right now because I'm in the same room. So I'm actually watching more TV as I'm building up here. Um, and I probably will keep part of this up here even after my basement is no longer, well, it's not flooded anymore. But when my plumbing issues are fixed. That just still doesn't sound right when I say that, but my, my house is plumbing right. issues, not mine. <laughs> I live alone. I have plumbing issues. 
uh, Imodium for all your plumbing issues. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it has affected me for sure, COVID, but in a in more of a way of I'm trying to motivate motivate myself to do stuff. You're versus, doing a good job, Jeff. I well, love following a pitch. But I'm but to. what drove you to start doing your stream? Um, the fact that Chris was doing a stream, and I thought that was a cool idea, and I couldn't always get on, and it's like, well, hey, I w I want to do something with people that I know, and. It was cool. It's cool connecting with Chris's Chris's group of people and Jeff and things, people like that. Um, but it was like, there's people that I like that I know, and I was hoping to get a few more of the the Ontario based. Other than they, we've had a few Ontario based people, we've had people that I've never met, like Rick, the Ricks, and Chantel. And they're um, down the street. I just, it's yeah, just they all odd. live really close to Dave, but not me again. But. <laughs> I don't have any I, like there are no AFLs in in Peterborough that I know of other than a few Star Warsy type people that uh, that do do Star Wars Lego, um, and um, like uh, there's a couple there's a Bricklink seller I know of in Peterborough, but beyond that there is no one here. So I don't I never had the the idea that Jeff did where it was like hey I want to go hang out and have a beer with one of my friends and talk Lego or the gaming crowd that he has as well right like. I th as far as I know, there's no one else in Peterborough that is a Lego fan. So if anybody in Peterborough is watching this in the near future, all right, talk to Jeff. Go to go to go to VW Bricks or or, or or wait, hold on, I can do this. Send me an email, although I haven't checked yeah. this email account in a little yeah. while. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, and my sister's suggesting Pepto. Pepto for your plumbing I don't issues. Have, well, yeah, I guess plug. that's a different type of plumbing issues, I guess, or similar. <laughs> Yeah, let's not go there. Anyway. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think, uh, I, I don't know. No one in, well, I mean, my sister did talk about being laid off for five or six months for any of the hobbies and stuff, but uh, I don't know if anybody on the chat has any. Uh, are you guys building more in the chat than, or are you watching chat more than you used to, or watching YouTube streams more than you used to? I mean, uh, I'm listening uh, to things more often, like, um, mm -hmm. I got so the the toy collecting and everything else, like I didn't go head first into it because you know all the things, but like yeah. learning toy history and learning how people are restoring older toys, like GI Joe stuff and everything else, that's what's piquing my interest for the most part. And okay. Um, okay. like learning about other stuff, like other pop culture things, like not to become an, an expert by by no means no, but just like. Learning about the alternatives to things and like, I don't know, just just mm -hmm. learning. Like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I'm definitely finding myself more watching YouTube videos and stuff. Um, Russian car as background crash noise. Videos. Sorry. Russian what car did? crash videos. Russian car watch. crash videos on YouTube. No, not, not no. <laughs> I'm watching Lego stuff. Lego stuff and some some people that are building their own homes, which is kind of. I'm, I'm watching Dave's video, but. At one point yeah. five the, the time the normal time, the normal speed. So it's fun to watch Dave talk that fast. Although I go one point two five, but uh, oh, here comes some. We have some uh, some people have to have joined in chat here or yeah. have given. You know, what I, mean? I think boredom was one part why I returned to Lego in January. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lexi's watching more streams, getting press gamed into one. Oh, that would be her brother. Yeah, I made her part of tons of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brickham's Den. COVID's Great. definitely ruined my plans to engage with other rifles. Yeah. Um, the toy convention in Brent, January of last year, then we shut down. Um, but I encourage us all to get online. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, without COVID, I don't think we, I would know Chantel, Brickham's Den, Rick. Exactly. Uh, Rick no. All books counts, Rick. Um, Jeff, like I would not have met Jeff if it wasn't no. for COVID. Me neither. Right? I mean, the Daves I knew because these are the Daves I know. I know, but <laughs> but you know, like I don't know. So I, I'm glad. I'm kind of glad that we've had the lockdown because I have, up, I've gotten to know more people. A whole new world. It it has a whole new different world. A whole and, new I mean, world. <laughs> 
And uh, you thought I was going right. Yeah, it's going there. <laughs> I just love the look that uh, that Jeff gave you when you started saying that. That was fun. I love Disney. Well, not Disney, <laughs> but I love Disney yeah. movies. More time on phone. If you love Disney so much, why haven't you made the Country Bear Jamboree Lego set we all want? I've never oh, been to Disney. Well, I was at Disney once, but <laughs> I like the Little, Little Mermaid's my favorite. Sorry. Axel has a good point. Has anybody seen any Scarabic uh, co convention coverage? Because I have not seen on any of the things I've been following, any of the streams. So the Brothers Brick did no. Who the hell was it? Yeah, Somebody did something along the lines of it, and I saw it, and I went, I don't care. Okay. And I don't know if that means I'm a bad person, but I just didn't. Maybe the Brothers Brick did a thing about it. I don't know. Well, because I am following, I am following them, them, and I haven't seen anything. Yeah. Um, although I just I found Bricks, Bricks on Ville. I just found someone that has covered some of it. But yeah, I, I don't know. I guess probably because people aren't traveling as much either that we're just not catching it on the people that might have. Like Brothers Brick didn't go, as far as I know, unless they've had one of their European. Give me one second. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. I don't know what he's doing, but that's one second, right? I'm just joking. I, yeah. I, 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 I posted the question uh, in Kellogg's Facebook page. Yeah. And a lot of people uh, said that they either, like Dave, they went into like building sets with instructions, yeah. and and a lot, of, a lot of them got into their fridge, and you know started. <laughs> no, no, not that fridge. Oh, I was gonna say because I got Lego in my fridge. fridge. For sure. No, oh. no, the Lego fridge. I don't put my Lego in fridge fridges. That's where food goes. Yeah, that's a, that's an expression here in Quebec. We call, we call <laughs> Only this, in Quebec, that, I'm that closet where you put all the, these these sets that you buy and you don't build right oh, away. Okay. Oh, storage. That's yeah, a, that's the the Lego fridge here, okay. here in Quebec. So, and um, a lot of people said that they got into their fridge and started building sets that they had bought and yeah. Yeah. And uh, but a lot of other people said also mentioned, as both Jeff here said, that they got into like they, they, they forced themselves to keep on mm -hmm. building and keep trying to yeah, keep build mocks. And, yeah. and I mean, maybe that's something that you, Dave's, can can try. Is Dave Cowdes is a shirt inside out? Because I see a tag hanging off the side. It is. All right, just checking. Um, I'm for camping. <laughs> I was packing for camp and the wife says, Hey Dave, Jeff's stream is on right now. I said, Ah. She goes, Jeff's my friend. Don't let him down. That's her exact words to me. Sandy, thank you. <laughs> thank Sandy, you, Sandy. Thank you. She said, Dave, Get you're your fired. Butt on that show because Jeff is a good friend of ours and we're not gonna let him down. Well, thank you, Sandy, for me. I certainly shall. And Especially I won't say since you, you inspired the, the the tonight's theme, so <laughs> And I've, I, you know what, Dave said that, and then I just realized that Fazoom did his, uh, like they did um, Old Grey Bricks on Monday, and I was watching a movie. I watched Suicide Squad with uh, with Thomas, and um, my I sister actually commented and said, hey, um, Old Grey Bricks is on. I'm watching it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's on, but I'm watching a movie, so I'm going to skip it. And they only had four people on that stream, and I felt bad because <laughs> I watched it today, and I'm like, oh, only four people showed up? It was a little rough. Yeah, it was. It was. Hey, watch that. We got four. <laughs> My sister gets. I joined in the after time. show and just chatted okay. with him. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, I, I, my, my son, because of the basement, my son was up here watching, playing video games. And I'm like, hey, can we watch a movie? And he's like, yes, yes, we can. I'm like, good. So, but, connect with your kids, Jeff. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to. My sister, my, or my sister, my daughter doesn't let me hang out in her room, so I, unfortunately, I can't really connect with her that well at the moment. But you know, teenagers, daughter. Yeah. Oh, and that was the other thing you were talking about having younger kids, uh, and and having to connect to them. And when my when COVID first started, yes, I was definitely spending a lot more time with my kids uh, than normal. But 
I mean, they're both, they've both gone on to the digital stuff, right? Like they're, yeah. my daughter's doing a lot of chatting and stuff online. My son is texting with one of his friends all the time. So they have found their group of friends online at least now. So it's freeing up my time as well. So I'm pretty much building every day I can when I'm not working. So, so yeah. Anyway, uh, why don't we do a quick, uh, yeah, you get to see this. He's got the stingray. He's cute. Um, do you want to do a quick uh, round table of what you're going to work on this week, and then we'll call it a night? Since we really didn't do a, uh, we really didn't do a what have what have you been working on? So uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll just start with you, Jeff, because you're up at the top. And I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this week is going to be a lot of teenage mutant ninja turtles. Teenage organizing this shelf. Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant yeah, yeah. Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We started Turtles. it. It's your fault, Jeff. Even though I started singing. But anyway. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to try to finish my boat. Cool. Uh, part of that whole future dark military thing. Mm -hmm. And um, cool. try to finish some final touches on this just so that I can do a little vignette. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I've got to work on a uh, display piece for the library for my lug. They're like, you can do any book. And I was like, any book? And they're like, yeah. I gave my first submission and they went, not that book. And I went, oh. Okay. <laughs> any book. Yeah. You chose the one book you can't do. It was definitely a romance monster, like a uh, er erotic novel. And like, so okay. I drew like a tentacle monster and a lady having a nice time. Oh, built, yeah. <laughs> and uh, not that book, Joe. No, not that book. Yeah. Not that book. So I'm gonna do uh, Monster Hunter uh, International, which is uh, a fantastic series of books, by the way. And uh, the first chapter is about a guy killing a werewolf by himself. So I'm gonna be doing that. And it takes place in an office, and it's fantastic. And if you haven't checked those books out, you really need to. Okay. Cool. And how about you, Mr. Kodos? Oh, sorry. He's going uh, camping. Oh, hold on. Wait. Just got Jeff more. has something to add. I'm probably going to put this bastard together this week. Boom. Ooh. The next night. Next night castle. Mobile castle. I forgot I what it's actually Nexo called. Nights. The four tracks. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All right. Mr. Dave, you're going I camping. Can. Uh, you're going camping tomorrow, but I just realized that I had uh, David and you're following my videos that I'm starting. I just finished this 6930 to 6939 series. Yeah. So I thought right before your show, actually during your show, I was looking up to see if I had the 6940 to 6949 set up, like all those parts. I mean, all those sets. And I mm -hmm. realized that this is 4-0. Oh, <laughs> oh you, how many of them do you have already done? And, and this is 4-1. <laughs> okay. Oh, the bat tracks. And, and this is like 4-3. Like, what is that? Like, anyway. Um, Where'd the so, rest of it go? It's not surprising. It's the uh, worst line ever. And, and, and then it skips right to 6949, which, which uh, I mean, I could probably do the video right now because 6949, for those who might not, Actually, no set numbers. Dave's not going camping for another video, at least. <laughs> Is this guy in red? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Do you have I, that I one actually, built? Pardon? Do you have it built in red? No, I took mine apart years ago because this is the one this is the one set that i actually liked in the entire theme <laughs> okay so you're and, and then of course we because you inspired me with your your mega core magnetizer in classic space oh, colors yeah remember that yeah i do <laughs> that, that got taken apart a long time ago and so i built this guy in classic space colors um okay. so i am a, I, before i start and again i don't have time now because i'm going camping i will build it in red and you guys will see me talk about it so i will be ready but i also wanted to show this before i pack him up because dave mentioned that this was his favorite. Yeah, my, my favorite set. set of the Spirus line. And I, I can see why. <laughs> so for to, to me, that set made the whole the whole line. So and it's funny because I own three copies of that probably because of garage sale type Lego from yeah, yeah. my dad. Yeah. And yeah. I've never built it. I didn't build it till this week. <laughs> so I you never knew it opened it. up. 
I was like, oh, that's nice. Whatever. Well, I cool. heard that one of them opened up, and the and the and the uh, little wheeled vehicle dropped out of it. So I thought, as soon as I started this one, uh, gathering the pieces for, oh, this is the one. And I was like, woo, okay. I'm excited now <laughs> because this is the one. Yes. And, and it, sorry, it's, Jeff. It's so failed. it's so great how simplistic it is. <laughs> so cool. It's a great set. Love it. it, it it's it's like uh, again, I haven't finished the whole series yet, but um, mm -hmm. it's it's um, it made me happy to build it. So um, fair enough. And and uh, that's the main thing right now. And and I do love these guys with the clear helmets on them. Uh, they're yeah. they're one of my favorite mini figs ever. Um, and so I actually yeah. bought mine from uh, Pierre Normandin when he left for Denmark. Did he sell all his Lego? He sells a part of his collection, yeah. And then also, I, I keep on finding out the pieces I don't have an abundance of. And of course, uh, this this corner piece in red, uh, I only had three, and I probably have more. I just couldn't find them. So I have to. Um, th th that's yeah. added to the dozens of pieces that I need to get for completing all the sets that I'm building. Or I'll throw, my, I'll throw one in a bin, because I'm pretty sure I have a few of them. So I, I thought I had more than three. I, yeah. I'm sure I, I don't think I'd use them in the layout because, of course, my layout's blue uh, and gray. Uh, so I don't think I used any red, but I can't figure out. I thought I had more red corner pieces. Yeah. Than that. So as, um, as, as I'm building these things, I'm amazed at the pieces I don't have <laughs> versus the pieces mm -hmm. I have. Yeah. Uh, Brickham's Den was like, wait, I have the magnetizer. Uh, I don't actually own the magnetizer set, although I do have all the parts. Like, I never owned it. But I ended up buying the wheels on BrickLink a while back, and I had all the parts to build it because of the, well, I mean, I had the transparent windscreen as well. Um, but wow. the one Dave's talking about, I was I built it in classic space colors. And it was gorgeous. Absolutely. It, it was nice. I won't tell you how many like Megacore magnetizers I own. He probably doing? wants the uh, windscreen for his uh, he, Stratocaster well, ship. He probably does. Um, Dave, uh, that, that was the Trans Neon Green one, right? Yeah. yeah. Dave, do you have any extra Trans Neon Green windscreens? I have a few. <laughs> You have a few? I have a few. Okay. I, I can go look. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll see what I have, too. This, this is going way back. So I had the Megacore magnetizer. Uh, Jeff built the Megacore magnetizer in classic space colors. Yeah. Uh, and, th and this is what happened. So when I built this guy, because I had the red and black one from whatever spires, and I saw these wheels at the bottom, I said, I can make this thing three times bigger by using the Megacore magnetizer wheels. Right? So I ordered yeah. another set. Because I had like twelve of them, and I ordered anyway. Um, and then I, I don't think I don't know if it was the last time on Lugnet, but somebody posted uh, three times version of this guy as a play set. That was okay. possibly the coolest thing I've ever seen. I said I wanted to do that ten years ago. <laughs> I just never. Yeah, I'll get to it some sooner or later. And <laughs> some guy beat me to it and did a gorgeous job doing it because instead of just making this thing bigger and scale mm -hmm. he made a whole place that where they had living quarters inside and everything else and then going that is just and it had the same functionality as this thing except it had quarters and like everything it was yeah. just gorgeous yeah cool um mr sincere any uh plans for the week lego wise um, or otherwise not hockey? really not really because <laughs> hockey <laughs> yeah hockey, hockey and and my son again volunteered me to be <laughs> assistant coach. So, <laughs> You've been so it, to, yeah, tonight I actually had a practice, but I didn't post about it on my Facebook page because I was actually on the ice. Okay. So, <laughs> and we have two more practices uh, this weekend one on Saturday, one on Sunday, and I'm playing two games. I'm also playing two games on Saturday. So I don't know when I'm gonna build something, but I'm I'm sorting like my bricks. Maybe I'll build something one day. Maybe. 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 And I'm gonna maybe challenge both of the Daves and say maybe force yourself to build something. Like try and see if that will work. Because I mean it's worked for me as well and for, for Jeff. But I mean something that's not as oh, instruction okay. Dave. Like oh, maybe yeah. you have you have been given recently some trans yellow windscreens. Try building a classic spaceship. So, this week on Tons of Fun, we're announcing the Spooky Season Build Challenge. And the three of you are more than welcome to partake in it, but it's a 16 by 16 base plate. And at first I said cemetery scene, but that's dumb. Build a spooky scene. You can go as high as you want. Spooky hmm. scene. Spooky scene. 
What's the deadline, the deadline, Jeff? The deadline is uh, October 29th. This is the last Friday nice. of the month, and that's going to be... Yeah, the deadline is like... this. The, the, having a deadline, like you said, Jeff, having a deadline... deadline. Yes. It pushes you. Yeah. Yes. Have a, we have a deadline. We have a challenge. And Dave, you can classic probably make space a classic spo spooky scene. Dave. I was going to you can make a classic space spooky thing. You've done Blacktron in a spooky uh, spaghetti monster mashup. Uh, that's just my favorite thing. Or the Babylon Live Emily Blacktron just... classic space Club crossover. <laughs> You'll finish in a moment. Emily just suggested that you could build a, spa a scene with classic space from Dead Space. From Dead Space. Yeah, the video game, you know, with necromorphs and everything else. And you could easily do that with Lego. That's true. Or you could do a Space 1999, like the opening scene of that, because that's just really weird and spooky and bizarre. And I stopped and watching it. And the hot dog after. monster was in that one. There you go. And Emily just suggested build a scene from Event Horizon with classic space. Never watched it. Wasn't interesting. Oh, sorry. I'm going to jump in here. Dave, I don't like you anymore, but I thank you at the same time. Because this morning you mentioned on Facebook about watching Sully. Yeah, for the umpteenth time, yeah. and I'm like, huh? I've ha I've been meaning to watch that, so I watched it today it after so between dinner. And it's such a decent movie. And it's yes, it was a good movie, and thank you. But at the same time, Gur, because I wasn't building when it, when I was watching that movie. It's a good I movie. haven't seen Sully yet, so I I enjoy it. I was good. I'll have to Tom check Hanks that out. Anything. Tom Hanks can read the phone book. I'm gonna watch him. The guy's just captivating. So. No, uh, there's a few there's a few science fiction horror movies I will not watch. Like Aliens uh, is probably where my limit is when it gets past that. I, I'm not interested yeah. um, because I like science fiction. Like I'll watch Battle Beyond the Stars. I'll watch the what was that movie that um, Chris was post posting about the other month uh, from 1982. Anyway, I'll watch all those campy movies. I'll watch really good science fiction movies. But if it gets into the grotesque gore, I'm not interested. <laughs> So, so you're not going to watch The Thing with Kurt Russell and other I saw The Thing in the theater. <laughs> That's the whole thing. <laughs> oh, and, oh okay. thing. Uh, and, and it's a movie I don't have to watch again. And I love Kurt Russell. I'll watch Kurt Russell almost any time he's on TV. I don't have to watch it again. There are very few movies I will never watch again. American Beauty, I don't need to see again. It was just too crazy in my mind. Uh, but uh, The Thing, I, I get... I saw Nightmare on Elm Street back in high school. I did not sleep for a week. And how campy is that movie? It's the most camp movie ever. I did not sleep for a week because my mind is too imagine uh, this. My mind is too imagination, and I couldn't sleep. But we're in COVID, so watch it now because you don't have imagination. You've said that, no so thanks. you can watch it. <laughs> no thanks. There, I, done. I, I, as an adult, I said nobody's going to make me watch a movie I don't want to watch, and I will never watch a horror movie. Period. <laughs> it's never going to, never going to happen. Event Horizon is a science fiction movie. Yeah, but it gets it's like it's like Doom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait, I would say that's spooky. So Event Horizon mock, you can add that to your list, Dave. Yeah, anyway. Uh my sister, if she's still around, is going to work. So uh Hi, Yvonne. Yvonne. we love you, Yvonne. We do oh yeah, oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we love her. You're her brother. I have to. Yeah, no, I just joke. <laughs> So, um, why don't we? Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up. We're an hour and forty-two. Wow, how, where did the time go? My gosh, it was a good, was a good show. Good yeah. show. Oh wait, I know where the time went. I totally know where the time went. Dave's tangent. Sarcastically. <laughs> they look, they look time. Anyways, we'll talk to you guys all later. Oh, I'm gonna work. I didn't actually say I'm gonna work on the castle some more. Um, and the I watermelon castle. Uh, yeah, the watermelon castle. So we'll chat with you guys later. Um, well, till next week. Um, I'm hitting the button. Bye, guys. So see